Praise the Lord, saints and friends. We thank God for y'all to log in today, this beautiful day that the Lord has made. It's a beautiful day to be saved. And um, we just want you to know that we appreciate that you come to join us and then logging in. And uh, we appreciate you taking the time out of your busy schedule, even though we're shut in. Uh, I want to remind you that you're not shut out, okay? And in doing that, we pre praise God that you allow the Lord to encourage you, to inspire you um, with the word, with prayer, for the word of God is able to build you up and give you an inheritance amongst them that are sanctified. And so we want to make sure that you stay encouraged and empowered and strengthened during the season, especially now when the weather's changing, it's going to be more difficult in the flesh, but not in the spirit, because greater is he that is in us than he that's in the world. And so we want to make sure that you be strong in the Lord and the power of his might as we go forward. And what we've been doing um, lately is trying to encourage every part of the body of Christ. Uh, last week, Friday, we had some of our youth ministers um, share uh, what they've been going through and have they overcome. And so today we have this woman of God, a minister, who Minister Corden is going to share with you um, some of the challenges she's facing, how she's overcome as we've all been in this thing together. The Bible says that we overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of his testimony. Um, and we know that we are all overcomers. I believe we have some overcomers out there. And as an overcomer, the scripture declares that iron sharpens iron. That's a kingdom principle. So right now I'm going to have Minister Carden come. And she's just going to share with you how she's been overcoming. And we're going to pray for you. And we're going to believe in God for victory this weekend. God bless you. Praise the Lord, everybody. Saints and friends, God bless you all. Greetings again from In His Image Ministries, a center of hope for all people. Um, I give honor to our leaders, Bishop Dennis Thompson and Cheryl Thompson. I give honor. I praise God for each and every one of you. Um, as Bishop said, you know, we're all in this together. We're all experiencing this pandemic together. Um, for the past three months, you know, I have my own sickness that I have to deal with and working full-time thank God um, I wasn't laid off but I was able to work from home to the glory of God God allowed me to be able to work from home and um, I'm helping out my mother who's battling her own sickness and I, we got the boys and I have to do homeschooling so I have a lot on me but there's been a scripture that has been my strength during this time and it's Psalm um, 46 verse 1 it says God is our refuge and strength a very present help in trouble no matter what I'm going through you know what I mean no matter what the test is you know it's it's, it's difficult because you know I gotta find a way now with the pandemic my help the person that was helping me to do my treatments because I do my treatments in my home I do home hemodialysis and I do my treatments in my home but you know, my help came in contact with the virus. So now I had to find another way to get my treatments. But God always makes a way out of no way. He's a very present help in times of trouble. No matter what it looks like, no matter what the obstacles that come my way, God continues to be my strength. And the thing that gives me comfort also, no matter what I'm dealing with, is the fact that I got a promise over my life. And I'm not the only one. You got a promise over your life. And that can be your strength during this time. You know what I mean? That can help you when you know that God has said some things that have not come to pass. And God is not man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. So if he spoke a word over your life and you have not seen it fulfilled yet, guess what? You know God is still going to do what he said. So no matter what it looks like, you can be encouraged in this time and be strengthened in this time. And I just wanted to encourage you with that word and just let you know God is the author and the finisher of our faith. He is writing our story and he knows and he's going to fulfill it. He said he would, he would, um, he that begun a good work in us would complete it until the day of Jesus Christ. So until Jesus returns, he's going to complete that work that he started in us. He's going to fulfill those promises that he spoke over us. So be encouraged. No matter what your situation is, no matter what your circumstance is, we all got our own stuff that we're going through, but God is a keeper. God is a helper, and he is doing that. And always remember, you are never alone. He said he would never leave us 
nor forsake us. Amen. So be encouraged, even though we're in a pandemic, you know, God gives us wisdom during this time. You just use the wisdom that he gave you. You do follow the instructions that we have been given. Be wise. He said, be wise as a serpent, but yet harmless as a dove. So we want to just be obedient to, to those who have rule over us, to the authorities in the land. So we need, you know, to to listen and, and just be encouraged and know that God got us covered. Amen. And at this time, we're just going to go into a word of prayer um, in the name of Jesus. Father God, we just thank you tonight. We honor you and we give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. For you alone are worthy of all of the glory. You're worthy of all of the honor, oh God. Right now, Father, we repent. We ask that you would forgive us now. Forgive us of all of our sins, Lord, sins known and unknown, God, in the name of Jesus. We ask that you would create in us a clean heart, O oh God, and renew a right spirit within us, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we come just asking that you would have your way tonight in the name of Jesus. We pray, O oh God, that you will supersede the prince of the power of the air, O oh God, and take over these airways, Lord, and just have your way in our midst, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we just ask that you would do as you will, Lord, in the name of Jesus, oh God. Oh God, I pray for everyone that has been affected by this virus, God. I pray, oh God, that you would heal as only you can heal. For Father, you are Jehovah Rapha. You are the Lord that heals, God. You said that by your stripes we are healed, God. And you also said that healing is the children's bread, God. We stand on your word, Lord. You said you honor your word above your name, God. And that is your word. That is what's written, Lord. And we're standing on your word. And we ask that you would heal in the name of Jesus. We ask that you would heal from the crown of their heads, Lord, to the very Every soles of their feet, God, in the name of Jesus, God, go into the respiratory system, God, and heal in the name of Jesus. Unclog anything that's clogged up, oh God, where mucus has built up, oh God, but you go in there, you break it up, oh God, because you are the Lord of the breakthrough. Break through the mucus, God, in the lungs, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord. Come on and heal for your glory, God, and heal for your honor, Lord. You are Rapha, and there is nothing that you can not do, Lord. We trust you and we stand on your word, God. We also pray for those who have lost loved ones, God, because of this virus, Lord. I pray that you would comfort, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord. I pray that you would strengthen, Lord, for your glory and for your honor, God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, give the oil of joy for mourning, God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, help them, oh God, to be strong in you, Lord, and in the power of your might, oh God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, look on every family, God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, cover the children, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord, children that may now be orphans, Lord, but I pray for godly influence to enter their lives, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord, shield and protect God, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, be a blood wall and a blood fence of protection over all the children, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord, strengthen immune systems, God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, bring everything into regulation, God, into the order, God, that you created it, oh God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, let no one lack, God, in the name of Jesus, Jesus, you are Jehovah Jireh, Lord. You are the Lord that provides, God. Give provision for your people, God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, send in resources, God. Financial resources, Lord. Health resources, Lord. Oh, God, coverings like the mask and everything that is needed, oh, God. You be Jireh. You provide in the name of Jesus, God. Give us what we need, Lord. Strengthen us from the inside out, God. In the name of Jesus, Lord. You said in your word, God. You said if my people, which are called by my name, you said if we would humble ourselves and pray, God, we humble ourselves before you tonight, God. We come seeking your face, God. We come seeking your grace and your mercy, God, in our situations and our circumstances, God. We humble ourselves before your mighty hand, oh God. You said if we would humble ourselves, God. You said if we would turn from our wicked ways, God. Help us to see the error of our ways. Help us to 
see our ways that are not pleasing to you, God. Help us to see the wickedness of our ways, God, so that we will turn from it, God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, you said then, oh God, you would hear from heaven, oh God, and you would heal our land. We know you are a mighty healer, Lord, and we're coming before you tonight. Have mercy on us, oh God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, let your will be done. In the name of Jesus, Lord, let your prayer will, let it turn in our bellies, God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, set a burning fire down on the inside, God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, help us to seek you like never before, God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, you are our very present help, God, and we trust you tonight. We believe you tonight, and we stand confidently on your word, God, because we know that you're not man, and we know that you don't lie, God, and we're grateful, God, because you said you honor your word, Lord, above your name, and you got a name that's above every name. You got a name that demons tremble at, God, and you said you honor your word above your name. So every word that you spoke in God, every word that is written, oh God, every word that you speak through your prophets and your priests, God, it shall come to pass. We trust it and we believe it in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, help us. Help us even to trust you the more. Help our unbelief, God, anywhere that there's doubt, God, uprooted in the name of Jesus. Pluck it up by the root, Lord. Let no remnant of it remain in our lives, God. We want to trust you wholeheartedly, oh God. In the name of Jesus, because you said if we ask anything and we don't believe it, we're asking a miss, God. So strengthen our faith on tonight. Help us to believe, even in the midst of pandemic, God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, do it for your glory tonight. In the name name of Jesus. Father, tonight, I ask that you look on the leaders tonight. Look on the leaders in government tonight. I pray for godly counsel and godly influence, Lord. In the name of Jesus, I pray for ears that will hear and be obedient, Lord. In the name of Jesus, from the top all the way down, look on the president, God. Give him wisdom tonight. Give him wisdom concerning decisions that'll be made for these people where your where your body is we are in this world we are not of this world but we are in this world so make provision through leadership for your body lord in the name of Jesus, look on the house of representative, look on Congress, God, give them wisdom. In the name of Jesus, look on the body of Christ, the leadership in the body of Christ. Look on the fivefold ministry, look on every pastor, every evangelist, every apostle, every teacher, Lord. Give them strength, Lord. Give them wisdom, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we apply the blood tonight, the blood on our minds tonight, the blood, the blood, the blood, saturate us in your red blood, let it saturate the thought patterns of the mind, in the name of Jesus, let it permeate, oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God, help us to have this mind be in us that was also in Christ Jesus, Lord, in the name of Jesus, oh God, the battlefield is our mind, so we need you, Lord, in our mind. Come on, oh Jesus, and do it for your glory, Lord. Oh, we believe you and trust you tonight. In the name of Jesus, oh God, look on your people tonight. Oh God, strengthen your people tonight and give us what we need, oh Lord. In the name of Jesus, oh God, we're depending upon you. Oh God, we're trusting on you, Lord. Oh God, we pray for revival tonight. Send revival in the land, God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, touch the heart of the unbeliever, God. Let them repent of their sins, God. Let there be conviction, oh God. In in the land, Lord, in the name of Jesus, send conviction on the heart, God, in the name of Jesus, 
Let them cry out tonight. What must I do to be saved, God? Help us, oh God, as your believers, God, to be, oh God, a good example of what your church is, God. Let us not bring shame to you, Lord, but help us to be doers of your word and not just hearers only, God, that when the world sees us, God, they would want what we have, God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, help us tonight, God, in the name of Jesus. We need your strength tonight, God. We need your help tonight, God. You alone are our help, God. You said you are our very present help, God. There's nothing that you cannot do. You are the most high, God. You are El Shaddai. You are Elohim. And we call you Lord and Master. We believe you at that. We trust you to be that God And we submit our lives to you tonight We submit our wills to you tonight And we say Jesus Have your way Have your way in our homes God Have your way in our lives God Oh God Continue to bring in The financial resources that we need God Keep our jobs flourishing God And even those that have been laid off God Or who have been put on furloughs God Open up the doors, God, where they may have been stopped, God. You said that you would open doors that no man can shut, God. Open up the doors, oh God, for the financial relief, God, that is needed, Lord. In the name of Jesus, God, put a speed, God, oh God, in the um, unemployment, God. Speed up the process for your saints, God, in the name of Jesus, Lord. Let them not lack nothing, God, in the name of Jesus. And even while they wait, God, send help, God. Send help from the north. Send help from the south. Send help from the east. Send help from the west, God. Let us go from house to house. Oh, God, helping one another. Let the strong, Lord, bear the infirmity of the weak. God, in the name of Jesus, if we have excess, God, help us to be helpers of those that lack, God, in the name of Jesus, let us not be selfish, Lord, during this time, God, help us to not be self-centered, God, but help us to be soul-centered, God, in the name of Jesus, even when we go out, God, in times of, of when we have to, not just to be going out, when we need groceries, or we need prescriptions, God. Help us to shine a light, God, when we encounter the hurting and the lost, God. If ever there was a time, God, we know that now is the time. We know that you saved us, God, for such a time as this. Help us to let our light so shine in this dark world, during this dark pandemic, in the name of Jesus, give us boldness in the Holy Ghost, God. In the name of Jesus, help your people, God, to evangelize. Help your people, Lord, to be sensitive and to have compassion, Lord. In the name of Jesus, let us not do church as usual. Let us not be the same church that we was before this pandemic, God. But help us to be compassionate, Lord, and help us to be loving, oh God, and help us to be kind, oh God, in the name of Jesus, because you said, by love and kindness have I drawn you, not by judgment and condemnation. Help us, Jesus. Help us, Jesus. Help us, oh God. Help us to do this new normal in excellence, God, in the name of Jesus. Help us to exemplify you, Lord. Lord, in everything that we do, Lord, in the name of Jesus, oh God, I pray a special prayer, God, for those, God, who have been diagnosed with the virus, Lord, who may have been sick and hospitalized, but you raised them up, God. But now I pray for supernatural strength, God. Strengthen their limbs, Lord. Strengthen their organs, God. Restore their organs, God. Back to their natural and their normal use, Lord. In the name of Jesus, give them strength, Lord, from the crown of their head to the soul 
soles of their feet, God, in the name of Jesus, Lord. Oh, God, and give wisdom to the caretakers, God, in the name of Jesus. Strengthen them, oh, God, in the name of Jesus. It's not easy when you got to care for a sick loved one, Lord. So strengthen the caretakers, God. Help them to be patient, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord. Season their words, God, so that your love can shine forth. In the name of in the name of Jesus, Lord. Oh, God, look on the parents, Lord, that are homeschooling, Lord, that are not used to it, Lord. Give them patience, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Give them wisdom, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Although prayer and Bible reading was taken out of the school, remind the parents to put it in the homeschool, God. Let us give this word to these children, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Give us wisdom, Lord, in the name of Jesus. And I pray for patience, God, because your nerves can be worked when you got kids running around all day. But Lord, Give us patience, Lord. Help us to be patient, Lord. Because you said that the trying of our faith will work patience. But help us to be patient, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Oh, God. Strengthen in the name of Jesus. Oh, God. We need your help in this last hour, God. Help your church. Help your people, God. Help your leaders, God. In the name of Jesus. Oh, God, help them to be strong in you. Help them not to be weary, Lord, in well-doing, oh, God, in the name of Jesus. Because you promised them, Lord. You said we will reap, Lord, if we faint not, God. I pray for endurance for the saints, God. Endure in this evil and pandemic time, God. Because you said those that endure to the end, those are the ones that shall be saved. Help us not to give up, God. Help us not to give in, God. But we want our, our faith to be increased. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, you said if we have small faith, the size of a mustard seed, we can move mountains, God. But our faith is increased even the more, God, that we can move this pandemic, that we can move the state of this world, that we can usher in revival. Bible, God, in the name of Jesus, Lord. Oh, God, help us to trust you, Lord. That's all we need to do, because you're not moved by our needs, God, but you're moved by our faith, God. You already know what we need, God, but you need us to believe that you can meet that need, God. Help our faith, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord. We know that you're more than able. We know that there's nothing that you cannot do. The only thing that you cannot do is fail. You are an all-sufficient God. You are the everlasting God. You are an all-powerful God. You got all power in your hand. You got power to save. You got power to heal. You got power to deliver. Coronavirus, COVID-19, got nothing on the name of Jesus. Coronavirus got the bow at the name of Jesus because your name is the ultimate authority. Every knee shall bow. Every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ, the anointed one, you are Lord and beside you there is none other. Lord, we honor you tonight. We lift up your high name. We lift you up over our feelings. We lift you up over our emotions. We lift you up over sickness. We lift you up over disease. Your name is lifted high. Your name is lifted high. Jehovah is lifted high. 
El Shaddai, we lift you high. We magnify your name. We glorify your name. You alone are worthy of the glory. You alone are worthy of the honor. We magnify you tonight. We magnify you over the pandemic tonight. In the name of Jesus, almighty Jesus, all powerful Jesus, our soon coming king. Oh Lord, we look up tonight for our redemption is drawing nigh. We see the signs of the time. We know that you're soon to come. And oh God, we are ready in ourselves for your arrival, God. We're awakening ourselves. We are no longer at slumber, Lord. Our ears are attentive to your voice. We hear you, Lord. We hear you beckoning us to come closer. We hear you, Lord. And our answer is yes. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes to your will. Yes, Lord. Yes to your way. Yes, Lord. Lord Jesus, yes, Lord Jesus, our hearts say yes, our minds say yes, oh God, yes, oh God, Jesus, Jesus, let your will be done, Jesus, Jesus, oh Jesus, we are trusting you tonight, we're believing you tonight, oh come on and bless him tonight, in your individual home. Come on and give the Lord some praise. Come on and lift him up. Come on and magnify him. Magnify him over your feelings tonight. Magnify him over your situation tonight. He said if I be lifted up, he will draw. So lift him up in the house with your unsaved loved ones. Lift him up. He said he would draw them. If you just lift him up. He said if I, if I, if if I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto me. Live a life in front of them. Oh, be an example and watch the Lord draw. Lift up praise in your home. Because he said he inhabits the praises of his people. So when you praise the Lord, he's going to make his abode there. Don't get caught up in what's going on and what the news is saying. But get caught up in a praise. Get caught up in lifting up up the Savior tonight. Continue to praise him. Continue to lift him up and watch him move. Watch him deliver. Watch him save. Oh God, we believe you. Oh God, we trust you. That's what it is. We trust that you're able. Our faith is in your able ability to do just what your word says. And Lord, we thank you right now. We thank you for what you've already done. We thank you for the souls that you've already healed. We thank you for those that you're healing right now. We thank you, oh God, that you're walking into the hospital rooms, going in room by room, heart by heart, situation by situation. Go in and heal. Go in, God. Let your Holy Spirit breathe. Blow through the rooms. Oh yeah, da, 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 see. Let your Holy Spirit please. Let your breeze blow in the rooms and heal the night. Oh, in the name of Jesus and save tonight. In the name of Jesus, save in the hospital room. Oh God, save in the isolation room. Save right now, God. In the name of Jesus, you are mighty to save. That's nothing that you can't do. There is no thing that you cannot do. There is nowhere that you cannot go. Oh God, and we believe you tonight. Our faith is big tonight. 
Our faith is big tonight. It increases tonight. We increase our faith, Lord. We stand on the promises of your word. We believe you at your word, God. You are good. You are good. You are good. And you're worthy to be praised. Father, you are good. And you're worthy to be praised. Father, I lift you up tonight. I'm giving you glory, God, because I thank you for healing. I thank you for healing of all kinds of sickness and disease. You said, you said it, God, and you cannot lie. You said healing belongs to your children. You said by your stripes, God, and they beat you all night long. They beat you all night long, God, and you said it. You said by those stripes. We are healed. I believe it, Lord. I trust it, Lord. Anybody trust him tonight? Anybody believe him tonight? Our God is good. Our God is able to do just what he said. Oh, come on and magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. He is worthy of all praise. He is worthy of all glory. Oh God, we magnify you. We glorify you. There is none like it unto you in all the earth, God. You are mighty and you are great. And we thank you, God, for being a good father. We thank you, God, for knowing what's best for us. We thank you, God, that you orchestrate. You don't cause disease, but you orchestrate it all to be for your glory. You said everything we go through, it's all working together for our good. We believe you in that tonight. Although we may not understand it, we know that it's working for our good tonight. We know that this pandemic is going to work for our good and it's going to work for your glory. We know that you're going to get the glory out of this. We know that you're going to get the glory out of this. Oh, thank you, Jesus. You're going to get the glory out of this, Lord. And we thank you for that. We thank you that all glory is thine. It's not ours. It's not by might or power, but by your spirit, God. And we thank you, Holy Spirit. We thank you for being alongside of us to help us. We thank you for being our teacher and our instructor. We oftentimes, we oftentimes neglect to give you the honor that's due unto you. But you are the one who has been left here with us. You are the one that dwells inside of us. And now, during this time, we pursue relationship with you. We pursue intimacy with you, Holy Spirit. You, we need to know you like never before. Because you are the one. You are the revealer of truth. You are the corrector. You are the checker. You are the one. And we thank you for that. We don't neglect you. We don't call you an it. We don't call you the. We know that you are the third person of the Trinity, Holy Spirit, and we acknowledge you as such. We acknowledge your place. We acknowledge your person. We acknowledge your power. We acknowledge you, and we love you, and we we no longer ignore you and cry, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus is on the right hand of the throne, making intercession for us. But you are here. You are with us. And we acknowledge your presence. We acknowledge your strength. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost, we thank you. We thank you that you're not like man. We thank you for your love and compassion. We thank you for your loving kindness. We thank you for your long suffering. You don't give up on us. Even when we give up on ourselves, your love is relentless. It chases after us. It don't let us stay in loaded bar, but it keeps lifting us up. Thank you for your love. 
Thank you for your unfailing love. Thank you for your unconditional love. Oh, God, thank you for your love, Jesus. Your love, it reaches, it reaches to the highest mountain and it flows even when we're low. Thank you for your love, God. We thank you, Lord. Your love, your love, it lifts us. Thank you, Jesus. I'm so grateful for the love of God. Oh, thank you for your love, Jesus. Thank you for your relentless love. Your love that will leave the 99 and go get that one. I thank you for your love. I thank you for your unfailing love. Your love, God. Your perfect love can cast out our fear during this pandemic. You said love, perfect love, cast out fear. We don't have to fear because God loves us. God is love and his love will cast out that fear. Get to know the love of God in the name of Jesus. Anxiety got to go because we are loved. We are loved perfectly. So anxiety must flee. In the name of Jesus, we are loved perfectly. So fear got to go. In the name of Jesus, I command it off of the lives of the believers. I command fear to go off the mind of every believer under the sound of my voice. In the name of Jesus, we will not fear. For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but that of love, that perfect love that cast out that fear and of power and of a sound mind. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for a sound mind tonight because your perfect love has given us a sound mind tonight in the name of Jesus. In that scripture, it said the spirit of fear. So that's an evil spirit from the evil one. And we renounce it and we denounce it. We don't take it on. It don't belong to us. And we cast it aside. You cannot have your place in the life of the believer in the name of Jesus because you gave us authority Lord we have delegated authority and you said you said we got the power of life and death in our tongues and we speak life tonight we speak life over our minds we speak life over our bodies we speak life over our families. We speak life tonight. Remember to speak life. Don't allow the enemy to trick you into speaking death or speaking Jesus, the blood, 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 the enemy mad, so the blood be applied, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood be applied over every home, over every doorpost, over every family, every mind, in the name of Jesus. God, we give you glory tonight for your blood. We thank you for your red blood. We thank you that it is applied and it is appropriated over every life, over every home. In the name of Jesus, we believe it by faith. We know that it is so. We know that it is so. In the name of Jesus, God, we honor you. God, we bless you. Anybody bless him tonight? Oh, he's so good and he's so faithful. If you are listening to me, that means he woke you up. That means he gave you the activity of your limbs. That means he gave you the faculty of your mind. That means he was faithful to you. Oh, God, and we thank you. We thank you that you saw fit to let us see this day. We thank you. We thank you that you keep us each and every day. Oh, God, we know it's no goodness of our own. <laughs> Jesus, we know it's no goodness of our own. It's no goodness of our own. It's your faithful love, and we thank you tonight. 
We thank you tonight. No goodness dwells in this flesh and we know it. It is your goodness, Lord. It is your mercy, Lord. It is your grace, Lord. And we thank you tonight. We have a grateful heart tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you tonight. Come on and thank him. Thank him in your home. Come on and praise him because he's good, because he's faithful. Oh, God, we thank you. We know there's no goodness in us, but it's you, Lord. It's your blood. It's the blood of the Savior that makes us right before you. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God, we love you tonight. We love you. We honor you. We praise you tonight. We have a grateful heart unto you tonight, God, because you are the supreme God that, that rules you sit high and you look low. And you said you would put nothing on us that we could not bear. So he, he knows what we are able to bear. And he has us uplifted up under all this. He's girding us up because he's not going to put anything on us that we cannot bear. And we thank you for your strength, God. We thank you, Lord, that you love us. We thank you, Lord, that you keep us, God. And we pray, God, that you will continue over. Oh God, to keep our hearts burning for you, God. Even if it's not like we would want it to be, God, we pray. We pray for an increase in a in an increased hunger in our love for your word. God, put a hunger and a thirst down in us to love to read your word and to study your word, God. Help us to be given to fasting, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Lord, let us not waste this time of isolation and shut in God. Help us to be mindful and to seek you with all that we have. If we don't love reading, some people, they just, in their genetics, they don't like to read. It's just not in them. Put a, put a love, put a hunger, put a thirst, put that down in them, Lord. Give them a desire to read your word. Give them a desire to study your word, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Lord. Some people feel funny trying to reach out to you and pray because they're new to it and they think it sounds weird just talking. But, oh, God, give them a comfort, God. Let them give them ways to pray, even if they don't voc vocalize it, that they can write down their prayers, God. Show them how how to pray. Show them how to contact you and, and talk to you and build relationship with you. It's just like building relationship like you would in the natural. When you want to get to know somebody and, and build a relationship, what do you do with them? You spend time with them. You talk to them all the time, all types of hours, all day. You find out what they like. Do that in God. Do that to get to know God. Study him, you know, find out what he likes through his word, what God likes and, and spend time reading. Now that we can't assemble ourselves, you got preachers online, you got books, you got different things that you can build yourself up with and get to know him by indulging in those things. When I first got saved, I used to, Dr. English, she was the dean of our Bible school. She gave me books. I just I absorbed books. I was just eating books. Whenever there was a service, I was running to the house of God because I wanted him. It was a pant. You got to have a pant just like you want a relationship. If you want them, you do what you got to do to get them. You do what you got to do to get to know them. You got to put forth that same effort now when this time of shut in. You got to put forth that effort to get to know the Christ. You got to put forth that effort to get in that word. Even if you're not an avid reader. Reader. Read a chapter, read a verse, put forth an effort because if you keep doing it little by little, he'll increase that. You give him something to work with and he will do it for you. He will help you. He said he will give you both to will and to do of his good pleasure. God will help you. You just give them something to work with. Okay, so this is for my new believers out there. Those who don't really know how to um, establish relationship or don't know how to build a prayer life. Do it little by little. Don't try to be a wonder or try to be what somebody else is. Ask him to show you your, your orders of consecration. Show me what I need to do, God. How can I get to know you? Show me what you like, God. What don't you like? Talk to him like that. Write that down. God, what don't you like? God, what do you like? 
Find out what he likes. Get to know him. Get intimate. Build that relationship. And when you build that relationship of you, God will explode in you. All he wants to do, that's what he wants, is us to fellowship and, and, and relate with him. That's what we're created for, to worship him. I thank you. I thank you for your time tonight. I pray that I said something and I pray that your soul was blessed and that you were encouraged. And I pray that you continue to be encouraged. Be strengthened in the things of the Lord. Be encouraged. Oh, I pray that you be built up in your most holy faith. Read your word. Pray. Pray. It's essential. It is essential for growth. It is essential. This is what this time is for. Get to know the Savior. He loves you unconditionally. He's not looking at your oops, your bloops, and your blunders. He said if you repent, he is faithful and just to forgive you. And he's not like people. He's not going to hold it over your head. He said he will throw it into the sea of forgetfulness. If you repent, repent means to turn around, to turn. If you were headed this direction, if you repent, that means you turn around. You're not doing it no more. And you continue. We all fall down. None is perfect. He said all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. So none of us are perfect. No one. If you make a mistake, if you fall, get back up. Don't let the enemy lie to you and have you stay down and throw your hands up and say, forget it. God is faithful and just to forgive you. He will not. He said there is therefore now no condemnation. You will not be condemned by God. He don't hold stuff over you. He loves you. He loves you. His love is un no condition. Do you know what that means? No matter what. You don't have to, you don't allow people love. Well, if you do this, then I'll love you. God is not like that. Ain't nothing you got to do. His love is free. It's unconditional. His love is perfect. Be encouraged. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. I pray that you are blessed. Amen. Amen.